What's up guys, it's Christian. Today I'm bringing you episode 20 of my shop house build. So a ton of stuff has changed and hopefully we're gonna be moving in next week so I'll show you what's done. We're gonna start off in the master bathroom today. You can see we got the mirrors up. There's actually another mirror that's really tall that's gonna go right here to the side but we didn't put it up yet because we didn't want the guy that's doing the tile to accidentally bump into it or anything. So probably the biggest change of this video is the showers are all both done. All the tile is done. So jumping right into it, this is a master shower. We got all the black trim everywhere. We did rocks on the floor. So this, this shower turned out so amazing. I'm so happy with it. We also did the rocks in the back of this. So now that this is all done, we can have the plumber come back and put in the freestanding tub, put in the faucet for the freestanding tub, all the fixtures in the showers. So I'm excited to see how all the matte black fixtures turn out, match the rest of the house. So you can see we got more of this black trim on here. And then the granite right there. You can also see we got some towel hangers up. So this will mainly be used for the bathtub, hang a towel there. This will be the main one for the shower. And then we got a little hand towel holder right there. Here we have the toilet paper holder. So everything's kind of dusty. It's all in matte black. Now we also have the drains here. They've shown up, they're push drains. So those can also be installed now. So nothing has changed in the master bedroom. It's still the same. You can see the tub sitting here. Let's see if you can get a shot of the view over there. There's actually a reservoir right there and another reservoir over there. We'll jump outside on the deck real quick and show you that. We got the treks done. So this deck turned out awesome. Originally it was gonna be six feet out on both directions, but we decided to make it eight last minute and I think that was a good decision. Also, we got some of this tongue and groove siding done up here. So a little bit more of that to do. Now you can see that this is two different colors right here. The border's a black and then we have like a gray and brownish mixture for the actual boards. So we were we were two pieces short right here. So you can see there's not the edging around here. We'll be going and picking those up tomorrow and finishing that up. But you can see all the other black and gray coming around. Now we're gonna be setting up some temporary railings right here so that we can pass our final inspection and then build some real nice ones with metal when we get some time. Now also what you can see from out here, a lot of this dirt pile has been moved. So all this has been flattened out right here. This is all still clay right here, but you can see my dad has started spreading out topsoil. So this is where all the grass will be. Still got a lot more to spread out, but this will basically be the front yard right here. Overlooking the valley. You can see one reservoir there. Another reservoir there. Now you can also see we had some pit run brought up here by the driveway. This was a huge mud hole. So we had some pit run brought up here. We're getting more delivered as soon as they have time to deliver it. Put some over there and down here. So you can see up here a light. I'll talk more about that in a minute. You can see more lights right there. Another big floodlight. Okay, so real quick, I wanna talk about the Starlink. You can see this cabinet in here. We've got the router in here, all set up. Wi-Fi is working. So I recorded a video on me unboxing and installing the Starlink system and I was up on the roof for a majority of the video and it was really windy up there and it ruined a lot of the footage so 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload that video or not. I did do a few speed tests on it. The first one I got about 90 megabytes a second download. The second one was 170 megabytes a second download. And the third was 180. So, so far it's been awesome. I'm gonna, in the next video, I'll update you on it when I've had a chance to use it more and let you know what I think about that. But so far it is awesome, super cool. All right, moving back on. So, just in case you're a new viewer, this is the storage room right here. It's basically just got a bunch of tools in here. Keep all the clutter out of the shop. And then you can see down into the shop from here. Still haven't done the flooring down here on the stairs. Haven't had a chance to do that. We've been working on siding and more important things like that. So I cannot remember if we had the dryer done in the last video, but it is done now. We got the stacking kit set up. Worked out awesome. We'll build some kind of a shelf or something that comes up here that covers this and we could put like laundry detergent and stuff like that right there. Now this wash basin, we got the concrete anchors down. So this is solid now. Also the faucet showed up for it. I guess we'll give you a sneak peek of it and I'll show you more about that when we get it installed. You can see that the closet doors are wrapped now. So they're all trimmed out. We still don't have the doors on because we gotta, we gotta get the paint gun up, set up and spray them. We gotta do the interior doors and the closet doors, but that will happen as soon as there is time. You can see around the shop. You can see this whole middle section right here is what my mom has set up for when she stains and polys the boards, the tongue and groove boards. She's been doing a ton of that and there's still a ton more to do, so. So we'll walk outside real quick. Show you some more of this tongue and groove. So we actually ran out, so this is as far as we got with what we had. I need to pick more of that up tomorrow and work on that this weekend. Okay, so we're gonna come around this side out of the wind and I'm gonna talk some more about these floodlights up here. So there's five of those going around the building. Um, I just got those installed. We'll have to pull them off when we decide to paint this a little later on in the summer, but that's not a huge deal. Now, my boss just got this bucket truck and it is so awesome. He let me, t he let me bring it up here and borrow it this is gonna be a huge help for this weekend when we are putting the soffit and all these lights around the outside. So there's 29 more cans to go around in the eaves, a couple can lights that'll go right here and these little eyebrows above the garage doors. Yeah, I'm, I'm so lucky to be able to have this up here and be able to use this. I've also got a scissor lift up here. So a huge shout out to my boss. He's been super helpful through this whole process. See, we got another light up there. See some battens done. We still got more. We actually ran out of these battens too. So waiting on, on more of those. I really want to show you guys how bright these floodlights are going around the house. And also I got a couple sidewalk lights up as well. I'll show you those later on. But for right now, that's going to end this video. And as soon as it's dark, I'll bring the... I'll continue this on. Okay, so it's a little bit windy outside, so I'm just gonna play a little bit of music and do a walk around, but these are the five floodlights. They're about 11,000 lumens each, and they're gonna be controlled on a smart switch, so I'll be able to control them from my phone. And check it out. So that's what the outside lights look like without the eave lights. Now back to the video. Okay, we are downstairs now. I'll show you around in here real quick. I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen all of this. But again, this is, I have a lot of new viewers every video I upload, so this is mainly for those guys. So sorry if you've seen this a million times. 
you can see we got the pantry door wrapped now. We'll go in this bedroom down here too. This door is also wrapped. We'll jump in the downstairs bathroom now. It is finished. Well, other than the faucets, but. So we decided to do tile here with the matte black trim everywhere. You can see it up in there. We also got a little shampoo holder right here. See, we did a dark gray on all the grout lines. So the plumber will be here soon. I'll also put these faucets on. That's basically it for this bathroom. We got the mirror up as well. Here's one of those drains. So we decided to get matte black with that. See, we got the hand towel holder right there, the towel holder right there, and then we did the toilet paper holder right there. So next video, all the plumbing should be done. All those faucets should be in. The tub should be set upstairs. Um, hopefully the soffit's in and all the lights are on and most siding is done. And me and Mason might actually be living in here by the time there's a next update video. There's still tons of stuff to do up here, but for us to pass our final inspection, there's not a ton. I mean, we still got to do baseboard around some few place, a few places, but that's not a big deal right now. And you don't need that to pass your final inspection, so we're going to skip that. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I know we're pretty far in the process right now, but if you have any ideas of anything that you think would be cool for me to do here, drop it in the comments below. Also, my email is always in the description of my videos. You can, if you'd like the floor plans, the PDF for this place, I would happily send them to you. Just send me an email below and I will send those out to you. Thanks for watching, guys.